what is up this year? LA in a minute, and I'm here in Koreatown, one of the most important communities in Los Angeles, and the largest bastion of Korean people outside of Korea in the entire world. I want to talk about the history of Koreatown and its importance to Los Angeles, so let's get into it. So first off, this is a special edition of the LA Taco Neighborhood Project, so make sure you check out their 10 best tacos in Koreatown. Let's go. Koreatown today, again, with the most Koreans of anywhere in the world outside of Korea, is an epicenter of Korean-American family life and a shining exemplar of Los Angeles. It's a lively neighborhood with a rich culture and vibrant nightlife that stands on a community of its own, very unique in Los Angeles. The history of LA's Koreatown begins in 1902 with the immigration of Korean independence activist Dosan An Chong Ho, along with his wife Hai Ryon, also known as Helen, who settled in Bunker Hill in downtown Los Angeles. They founded the Korean Presbyterian Church on Jefferson Boulevard, around which the initial Koreatown district was formed. By the 1930s, Dosan had co-founded and led the Korean National Association, which advocated for the interests of Koreans in America. And in 1936, the headquarters for the organization were moved from San Francisco to Los Angeles, helping increase the importance of L.A. to Korean Americans. That said, increasing the footprint of Korean Americans in Los Angeles was difficult as racial covenants still existed, and they discriminated against Korean Americans and people from other nationalities for buying homes and property. By 1948, the Supreme Court struck down some of those racial covenants. And following World War II, a wave of immigrants from Korea began coming to Los Angeles. But it wasn't until President Johnson signed the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965 that the large waves of Asian immigrants, including those from Korea, began coming to the United States. One of those immigrants was He Duke Lee, who immigrated to Los Angeles in 1968 and noticed a lack of Korean products, including groceries. And he opened the Olympic market, which became a staple for the roughly 10,000 Korean Americans living in the Los Angeles area at the time. With the success of the Olympic market, He Duke Lee's vision began to take hold. He bought five blocks around Normandy Olympic, where he established the VIP Plaza, a shopping center that featured Korean-owned businesses, his own Korean village. Lee was so passionate about his vision that he worked with city leaders and business owners to establish an actual Koreatown, along with gates to the city and its own sign in 1982. Despite the growth and success of Koreatown, there were major setbacks following the 1992 LA uprising when a number of Korean businesses were destroyed. Although this was a devastating and dark time for residents of Koreatown, the people came together to rebuild their livelihood. They were joined by South Korean investors in the 1990s who poured funds into large-scale projects in Koreatown. Today, thanks to the skyrocketing popularity of Korean cuisine and Korean entertainment, the area has once again became a vibrant and dynamic cultural center of Los Angeles. So Koreatown has had a huge impact to Los Angeles, and it's also the site of the most Koreans of anywhere in the world outside of Korea, and it's right here in Los Angeles. All right, LA, it's been a minute.